Hi everyone, Dana here, and this is a pre-recorded video this morning for your Rapid Body Tone 1 class for week 3 of our 12-week Lean Body System Team Challenge. So it will be Tuesday, the 23rd of February that you are watching this. And the reason we've got it pre-recorded is because I've had to travel down to Kempsey to take my mum to a doctor's appointment and I didn't want you girls to miss out on your workout. So it's actually lunchtime here, but I'm pre-recording it all for you so that you've got your workout for today. So girls, our workout today is an interesting one. There's not a lot of ads that I can do to it because they are what we call isolated exercises and they don't allow us to sort of add different things in there. But you'll see what I mean when we go through it. So let's get started and you'll notice this video is wide and that's because I'm having to upload it to YouTube to bring it back to Facebook so you girls can watch it. But what that means is I'm just going to have to be playing around with camera angles all the time because um, as you can see it's only showing you the top half of me. But not to worry, we I've organized this so you can have your workout which is the most important thing. <laughs> Alright, so let's just warm up our spine to start with. So just bring your ear down to your shoulders for me and just rolling the head forward. So girls, today we're going to be working out our chest, our back, our triceps, the back of our arms, our shoulders. Okay girls, go back the other way and wait for it. It's a treat. We're starting to do planks in the next two weeks. So one of the girls that's with us, Kay from England, when she started with us last time, she could do a plank for, I think it was 10 seconds. And she was like, oh, I can only hold for 10 seconds. Well, she was able to get to one minute by the time the 12 weeks had finished. When you think about that, like that's incredible what she's done for her body, like the strength that she's created. If you think about my mountain analogy, where we're heading down the mountain after the age of 35, Kay's really headed back up the mountain in regard to her core strength and her shoulder strength, which is just fantastic. So if you cannot hold your um, plank today for the amount of time, which we're starting today at 30 seconds, please don't stress. We're just at the um, front end of this. And just like Kay, you will be able to improve as time goes on, yeah? All right, so girls, let's just do some spine release. So softening your knees for me, drop the chin down, tuck your tailbone under and just roll down for me. And when you're ready, just slowly stack one vertebra on top of another and coming back up. So let's do that again. Drop the chin down and rolling down one vertebra at a time. And then just slowly stack one vertebra on top of another and coming up. Last one, girls, drop the chin down and rolling all the way down and then slowly coming all the way back up. So girls, we are starting with push-ups today and week three and four, you are now coming into four sets of push-ups. For those girls that do not want to do push-ups, I showed you last week how to do your A shape exercise with your band. So if you would rather do that, you're more than welcome. You can add a stand up there if you want. But for the rest of us, we're gonna come down to the floor and I'm gonna bring you down the floor with me. So if you girls can jump on the floor, I'll just put the mat out, I'll be one to you. All right, girls, I'll just bring you down with me. Okay, so now we're going to come into doing one set of push-ups. So I want you girls to have your hands out very wide for me and just be mindful that your shoulders are above your wrists. Now choose your level girls, you're either in a box position which is level one, level two is you bring those knees back and level three you're up on your toes. So girls we've got 15 of them, are you ready? Let's go, inhale and exhale. Just remember as you exhale to think about squeezing those chest muscles together for me so that you are working that muscle at the front of your chest rather than making this predominantly a shoulder exercise. 
because I'd rather it be a chest exercise because we're doing our shoulders further down the trap than really pumping out into the shoulders. So girls, keep going with this movement for me. Breathe in on the way down and breathe out on the way up. You've got five to go. Just be aware that you're not letting your head drop forward, dropping that head down, but rather keeping those neck muscles nice and strong. Okay, girls, we've got just one to go for me. And coming back up. All right, so let's come into a standing position again for me. And we're now coming into wide rows. So wide rows, I'm gonna bring myself into a chair and I'll grab my band and I see if you can see me here. Yep, you can, good. Okay, so girls, with your band, I want you to pop it around your feet for me and sit up nice and straight. And I want you to row back, but you'll notice my elbows are out nice and wide, yeah? and inhale. So girls, we're going to do 15 of these. So keep that going for me. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Exhale. Now girls, as I exhale, I open up my chest. I squeeze my shoulder blades together. I control the movement back. So as I'm extending my arms back to my starting position, I'm not just letting that band flick me back, but rather I'm controlling that movement. So let's do another five of these. So that's five and four and three. We've got two to go and two and last one, making sure your chin's tucked in and relax. Now girls, the next one's gonna work the wobbly bits at the back of the arm, the triceps. And my girls that have wrist issues, you may find that it is too difficult to do the exercise I'm about to do with you. If anyone finds it too difficult, I want you to go back to what you learnt last week. So if you remember last week, I'll just grab the workout girls, sorry, it's just blowing off here. If you remember last week, we pushed our hands down, straighten those elbow joints and then bent the knee, yeah? So that is what, sorry, we bent the elbow, we straighten the elbow, then bend the elbow. Straighten the elbow and bend. Now this is the alternative. If your neck's hurting, grab a towel, pop a towel around there. But for my girls that can join me, we're going to do an exercise called tricep dips. And tricep dips works the wobbly bits, but you're also doing really good wrist strengthening exercise here as well. So what we do girls with this one, is you pop your hands onto your chair for me and just shuffle your bottom off for me. Now keep your bottom close to the chair. So what do I mean by that? I don't want you to push your bottom forward. I want you to bend your elbows, drop your bottom straight down and then push away. Let's continue doing that exercise for me. And I want you to make sure that your elbows are coming straight behind you rather than flaring them out to the side. So just do a quick check for me girls. So inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep this going for me now. It's quite a challenging exercise. So if you can't get out all 15, I want you to come back to that exercise that you learnt last week. Inhale and exhale. We've got three to go girls. That's three and push, last one, and push. Alrighty, so our next exercise, I would like you to grab your dumbbells. And we're going to do side lateral raises. So if you can grab your dumbbells for me. Now, are you gonna be able to see this? Yeah, okay, so from this position, girls, I want you to open and shut. Squeeze the shoulder blades and shut down. Squeeze and shut down. So this is number five, we're going to do 10 more. Six, seven, eight, keep going for me, nine, 10, five to go, 11, 12, 13, two more, 
14, last one, and 15, and relax. Alrighty girls, the next one is our plank. Get excited, woohoo. All right, so I'm gonna bring you down to the floor with me so that I can show you how to do a correct plank or the way I'd like you to do it anyway. And we'll do this for 30 seconds. All right, so I'll just bring that so you can see the mat. Okay, so girls, what I want you to do is come onto your elbows for me. And I want you to make sure your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Now I want you to make sure you don't let the head drop down. So look straight down at the floor for me. And you're on your knees currently. Now imagine I've popped a hot balloon under your tummy and I want you to pull your tummy away from that hot balloon. Now I want you to squeeze your bottom cheeks tightly together as if I've given you $500 and you've popped it in between your bottom cheek for safekeeping and you want to really squeeze that $500, yeah? All right. Now, if you find the plank too hard, girls, this is what you come back to. Your neck muscles are working, your tummy muscles are working, and your bottom muscles are working. We are going to come up onto our toes, and we're going to hold it for 30 seconds. Okay, girls, on your mark, get set, and go. So you're now up on your toes, girls. I want you to think about, are your shoulders directly above your elbows? Have you still got your neck muscles working, looking straight down at the floor? I want you to draw your tummy away from an imaginary hot balloon that's underneath your tummy and I want you to squeeze those bottom cheeks tightly together if you had $500 cash in between your bottom cheeks. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, girls, good job. Now we're going to come back into our second set and we're into push-ups. So straight away, I want you to come back onto your hands and your knees, or if you're advanced enough, up on your toes. When you are ready, girls, breathe in and lower and breathe out as you push. Make that cleavage on the way up, squeeze the chest together and squeeze. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So we've got 10 to go. So you know, once you're able to do a full push-up on your toes, you're actually using 26 muscles. It is a fantastic exercise if it doesn't affect your shoulders and you are able to eventually be able to do a full push-up. So it is worth the effort, girls, to keep practicing to be able to get this exercise eventually into an advanced push-up. Okay, girls, so coming back up for me, we're now coming into our second exercise, which is our wide rows. So I'm going to get you to sit back in your chair for me and grab your bend. And once you are there, pop that bend around the balls of your feet, sit up straight and do a wide row. So girls, what I really think about when I'm doing this exercise is I'm opening up the um, shoulders and chest, but I'm sort of pushing my chest forward as I'm squeezing my shoulder blades toward each other, yeah? But what I'm not doing is pushing my head forward. So I'm keeping my chin tucked in and I'm staying lengthened through the crown. So I'm not sure how many we've done, not like me, but let's do another seven and six and five four to go that's four and three and two and last one and relax now girls we're back to doing our tricep dips so when you're ready remembering there is an alternative if this is too challenging by popping that band around your neck and doing your tricep push downs so if you can, sniggle your bottom off the chair and I want you to bend those elbows and push. Now keep your bottom in close to that chair, bend those elbows so you're getting what we would call full range of movement. So don't just do a little bit, but if you can, go all the way down and really challenge yourself to push back up for me and push and push. All right, so girls, you've only got five to go. 
So that's five and four and three and two and last one and relax. Alrighty, so we're now up to our side lateral raises. So if you can grab your dumbbells, let's make it a little bit different this time. And we're going to do what we call a front raise. So I'll just bring this back up so you can see me. And we're going to go alternating into a front raise. So this works the front part of your shoulders. So that's two sets. We've got 15 sets to go. Now you'll notice as I do this exercise, my elbows are soft. So I do not have them locked out. You'll also notice that I'm only coming to shoulder height and no higher. I'm also just standing nice and still. So I'm isolating the movement so that I'm not bringing my body into it. So I'm not swinging at all, but rather standing nice and still and just using my shoulders to lift that weight and then lower it back down. So girls, keep going with this and we are going to do another five sets. So that's five and four and three and two to go, two and last one. All right girls, when you've completed that last one, we are coming back down to the floor for our second lot of planking. So I'll get you to come back down with me. Okay, so once you're there, just making sure that you come into elbows on the floor and I want you to draw your tummy up to your lower back. I want you to squeeze your bottom cheeks together and if this is where you're at girls, you stay here. For the rest of you, I want you to come up onto your toes now for me, and I want you to hold your plank position. Really push your um, elbows into the floor, and you will feel that you open up through that thoracic area a little bit more, that upper back area. Draw your tummy in, girls. Really squeeze your bottom cheeks together, and keep staying there. Now you've only got 10 seconds to go. Keep going for me for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, girls, we're back to push-ups. We're into our third set. So coming back onto your hands and knees or your toes, make sure your shoulders are above your wrists and let's breathe in as we lower and breathe out as we push. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So keep going for me, girls. Inhale and exhale. We've got 10 to go. That's 10 and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 more. That's 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one. All right, girls, we're coming back up again for me, standing up, and we're into our third set of doing our row movement for our back. So grabbing your resistance band when you're ready and having a seat. Sorry, it doesn't work as well with the camera long ways, but I have no choice, unfortunately, because it's the only way I can get it uploaded to Facebook for you. I tried to schedule a Facebook Live, but... I can't pre-do the live at, and anyway, so this is the only way I could figure out how to do it. So girls, just bring your band underneath your feet, open up the chest, squeeze your shoulder blades, tuck the chin in and let's keep going with this movement. Squeeze and squeeze. Yeah, so I'm taking my mum to the doctor because most of you know my mum's been getting um, declining in her cognitive health. And um, so we, I, that's why I had to go down the coast the other week for, to be with my family. And we have a bit of a discussion as to the next step. So I've made a surprise doctor's visits for her and she doesn't actually know 
So I'm hoping that um, I'm going down to Kempsey, which is about four and a half hours away from where I live, that I can get her to the doctor and that she will come with me. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, girls, one more. Pull back and release. Alrighty girls, we're into our next one. We're back to our tricep dips. We're into our third set. So listening to your body again. So just sniggle your bottom off for me. Have your feet shoulder distance apart. Bring your bottom off and you'll notice that my elbows are going straight back. So I'm not flaring them out to the side, but rather just straight back. I'm trying to do full range of movement girls, so I'm not being as slacky. I'm trying to go all the way down and push all the way back up. All right, so girls, we're going to do another five of these. So that's five, four, three, two, and last one. Alrighty, so when you're ready guys, just grab your dumbbells for me. We're coming into doing our side lateral raises again. So grab your dumbbells, find a spot for me, and we're coming out to the side. Now if you would like an extra challenge, let's just lift one knee off, sorry, one foot off the floor, and maintain your balance for this set, and then we'll do the other foot in the next set, yeah? So girls, we've got 10 to go. So that's 10, whoop, nine, keep the chin tucked, eight, seven, my balance isn't great, six, five, four, three, two to go, two, and last one, and back down. Alrighty, so we're now up to our third plank. So coming back down to the floor for me and we'll get excited about doing our um, third plank. All right. Okay, girls, so when you're ready, you're onto your elbows and your knees and I want you to draw your tummy up, squeeze your bottom cheeks. My girls that can come up on their toes, I want you to come up on your toes now for me. And let's squeeze and lift our bits, girls, and hold the plank for me. And we're doing only 30 seconds for the next two weeks. We've got 10 seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So girls, we're into our last set of push-ups. Just remember, if push-ups are affecting your shoulders, you do have that A-press movement with your band that you're welcome to do instead. For the rest of us, getting yourself into push-ups, let's go. So inhale and exhale. Breathe in on the way down and push. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep that going for me, guys. We've got another 10 of these. On the exhale, I'm really bringing my awareness to my chest and I'm squeezing and lifting. Squeezing and lifting. All right, five to go. That's five, four, three, two, last one, and push. Alrighty, so coming back up for me, we're now coming into our wide rowing movement. So I'll just sit in a chair, grab your resistance band. And we're getting ready to do our wide rows. Sitting up nice and straight for me. So stay away from the back of the chair so that you're using your core muscles. Exhale as you pull back and inhale, exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale. Keep that going girls, you've got another 10. So that's 10 and nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four to go, four, three, two more, and last one. Alrighty, now we're working the back of the arms. Remember, if you're getting too much for your wrist, I want you to do your tricep push down as your alternative so that it doesn't um, affect your wrist. But just listening to your body girls, if you can join me, fantastic. So just shuffle off when you're ready. Keep your bottom in close, breathe in on the way down and breathe out as you push. And again, inhale and exhale. Let's keep this going for me. And push. And push. Girls, we've got 10 to go. Full range of movement. And nine. And eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And push. Alrighty, so we're back into shoulders. So if you can just come back up, grab your dumbbells again for me. We're now coming into doing our shoulder movement. Okay, so when you are ready, I'm going to get you to come back to doing a front raise. And girls, if you would like an extra challenge, let's come up onto the balls of your feet as you're doing this, just so you're working your balance muscles a little bit more. Also through your ankles, which I think is important as we age, and also a little bit of strengthening through your calf muscles. So that's four. Keep going. Five. We've got 15 sets, girls, so we've got 10 sets to go. Six. And seven. The wind's just picked up here. <laughs> Keep going for me, girls. Eight. Now getting hair in my eyes. I don't like that. It's because I've got such fine, fluffy hair. Nine. They used to call me Fluffy Duck when I was a young girl because my hair was so fine and fluffy. <laughs> it was super curly, but super fluffy. 11 and up. It's gone straighter as I've got older. 12, which is just, I think, hormones. Every child I had, my hair got straighter, fell out. 30. <laughs> so my hair's not my forte, that's for sure. 14 but we've got to accept what we've got to what we what we have don't we 15 last one and relax all right girls last exercise our last plank 30 seconds and then we'll do our stretching and your workout will be done for the day all righty so girls when you are ready come down onto your elbows for me and once again draw your tummy up squeeze your bottom cheeks and those that can come up onto your toes for me and girls hold it so really think about it guys if I had a hot balloon under there are you pulling that tummy away have you got your $500 squeezing it as tightly as you can push your elbows into the floor and really stay lengthened through the crown so you're not dropping the head So girls, we've got another five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, I'm just gonna stand up so I can give you a couple of stretches for those different areas that we work today. And when we are ready, I'm going to get you to do your chest and your back. So open and close, open, and close so you'll notice open through the chest and as i close i do a bit of a shoulder rotation so i'm bringing the back of my hands together you'll also notice that i tuck my tailbone under yeah and just really stretch girls that upper back and then open up that chest a bit more maybe looking up to the sky open and sharp two more and sharp and last one, girls, and shut, and release. Alrighty, so from there, just swing the arms from side to side for me, and swing, 
and swing four and three and two and last one just popping your hands on your shoulders and just doing a few shoulder movements for me and girls when you're ready just reverse that take it back the other way now for those triceps this is how we stretch it we give ourselves a pretend pat on the back we bring that arm straight up behind us and we drive that hip out to the side and just hold that stretch for me And release okay girls let's do the other side give yourself a pat on the back come up for me drive that hip out to the side and just hold the stretch and relax so girls very last exercise have your feet out super duper wide just imagine that you're inside your very own ball and just touch all the bits of your ball. There is no right or wrong, girls, just movement through the body. Just keep that going for me for a moment. And just relax. Girls, take a big deep breath in. As you're ready to breathe out, shake it out. Inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale when you're ready inhale bring your feet together and as you exhale bring your hands down to the side girls give yourself a big clap you've just completed rapid body toning one for week three of our 12 week lean body system team challenge so girls I will be seeing you tomorrow for ultimate fat attack I'll definitely be back for that live and um, thank you for doing this pre-recorded class and have a great day take care bye